Hey, what is happening, you hypocritical hippowdon? Today, coming at you with some... Ooh, um... Yeah, open this real. Coming at you with some Arcanine, Hisuian Arcanine action. Now, this deck... Ooh, okay, we're up against the Mew VMAX matchup. This matchup is fine. We do play the Mighty Yana. Uh, things can get a little bit scary in the early game, especially if they play the Oracorio. Because Oracorio does stop. Um... Stop us from 1k into Mew VMAX with our Mighty Anna. But as long as we can get to the Mighty Anna and they don't play the Oracorio, or we can boss KO the Oracorio in the early game, we should be all good. Um, so should be a pretty good matchup. We'll see how it goes. Um I haven't played it a, a whole ton, but should be a good matchup for sure. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, slow start for my opponent. Love to see it. Uh, a couple of Rose Towers in the hand, a couple of Rose Towers too many. Go ahead and prime it with some Azoric. Hope for something better. Boss really isn't it. Um, quick fall away, a Rose Tower. See what we did prize. We did prizes of Rua, which is good. Now I can grab the Radiant Venusaur. Heavy ball for the Zerua. We did prize two Arcanine as well. Arcanine isn't going to be our main attacker in this matchup, theoretically. Going to go with the Rose Tower. I might draw into the Ball Guy or an Arcanine. Um... Do I really want to boss a Genesect here is the question. I feel like the answer is no. My opponent did have a really slow start, so the answer might be yes. I feel like they would have burned a Switch card if they had the opportunity to already. I don't really want to burn a boss, so I'm just going to done. Yes, Ordinary Rod. Uh, So the hand doesn't have a ton of options. Maybe I should have bossed. <clears throat> Maybe that's why I should have bossed, so I could actually make sure I can try and do something this turn. Uh, <laughs> Now I don't know if I'll be able to do anything this turn, to be honest. Definitely had a slow start. Slow go of it off the rip. Ordinary Rod, ordinary rod for Zerua will be nice, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to get us going here. Going to need like a Ball Guy or a Peony top deck for sure. But if we do get that, we'll be in a pretty good spot, to be honest. So we'll pull something like that off. <clears throat> we'll be all right. We need a way to like thin out this hand a little bit. Yeah, I should have, to be honest, I should have just played the boss, drawn the extra card off Venusaur. That was probably the route to take. Got like a little bit... Just a tad greedy, I guess you could say. Ooh, they're chasing my Venusaur. Okay. Now we have to rod the Venusaur, which is, like, not super convenient. That's fine, though. We also don't need to draw a prize card this turn. It's okay if we don't draw a prize card till like, the following turn or something like that. We can definitely wait a turn. Take a turn off from drawing a prize card. That's not a big deal at all. We'll figure it out after that. <clears throat> Old Cemetery is unfortunate. I was going to use that Rose Tower <laughs> to draw cards. Uh, so that's not good. That was going to be my out to drawing cards this turn. Now we're going to have to go with that Primate Wisdom on the boss's orders. <clears throat> yeah, going to have to go with the Primate Wisdom on the boss's orders and hope to draw into some kind of out. I don't know what that out's going to have to be either. I mean, a Peony would get us there. Peony's, Peony would actually allow us to... Uh, KO this Mew V Max to be honest. So that would I guess that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the Peony. Put the boss back, get the Peony. One hit KO this Mew V Max, and then kind of go from there. The prize cards we would be able to draw that wouldn't be that good to be honest though. So alright. We'll see how the draw goes on this next turn. It's gonna be all on that. We'll start with the rod. We'll cover the Venusaur. Because even if we take another turn off, like I said, we don't need to be too aggressive in this matchup. We can kind of take our time and we can still come out on top. Don't need to be that aggressive. <clears throat> Definitely should have drawn that extra card though. I'm still going back to that. Here we go. Goodbye, Venusaur. And then we're gonna go ahead and send up the Zerua. See what our top deck is. It's not Peony. Go ahead and shuffle back in the Venusaur. Primate Wisdom, the boss's orders. <clears throat> it's an Ultra Ball. That's not bad. Go ahead and Ultra Ball away these two. There is the Mighty Anna. Grab myself the Venusaur once again. And I'm debating. I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw this orc down and draw the extra card off the Venusaur here. Done. Draw four new cards. Ball Guy. Oh, Ball Guy and Mighty Anna. That is a pretty good draw, if you ask me. Fail on the catcher. Yeah, we're in a we're in a pretty good spot now. We got the Mighty Anna play for the next turn, guaranteed. 
don't know if I'm going to want to keep this Twin Energy around. That might be my other Ultra Ball target. I could Primate Wisdom the, the Twin Energy first, though, I guess. Um, we need to get the Swablu set up, or need to try to. Yeah, quite a few things we're trying to set up this turn, to be honest. Try and get the Swablu out. Get the Mighty End in the discard pile. Get another Zerua. Like, we want, <laughs> we want Zerua, Swablu. Whole mess of stuff. Nice. Just a KO on my active. That's what we wanted to see. The Venusaur sticking around is perfect. Exactly what we want to see. Um, I might actually discard the Air Balloon. We'll see what we top deck here. Capture Energy. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm going to go try and conserve the Twin Energy here. I also don't have to. I also always have to remind myself of this sometimes. I don't actually have to get to a zero card hand to, uh, to get the knockout with the Mighty Anna. Yeah, I sometimes have to remind myself of that because I'm just so used to like so consistently trying to get to a zero card hand. Um, let me get the get the three, and then capture energy to the Venusaur. Got a Swamp Blue. Ball the Mediana. Get a Zerua. Level ball the Rua. Oh, I could have actually waited on this to get the Altaria. Actually, to be honest. I do have the Ultra Ball, though, so I do have an out. Air Balloon over there, and then Zorark into the Mighty Anna. And we're looking pretty set up. Wild Tackle, KO, Mew. Kept my Twin Energy around just in case I need it. We might need it at the end of the game. You never know. Yeah, I have the Ultra Ball, so I can get to the Altaria still on my turn. We got three prize cards, so not going to draw anything off the Venusaur this turn, but... Cards in general is what we're after, and put ourselves in an amazing spot here to potentially close out this game on the next turn. Yeah, I always have to remind myself, like, I'm going back to it, like, I do not need zero cards in hand to attack with Mighty Anna. Like, I, beca I become hardwired whenever I play this deck that I have to get down to uh, <laughs> zero cards in my hand. Uh, except when we're attacking with Slowbro and Mighty Anna. We can have any number of cards in our hand, but I do forget that pretty often. I'm, like, just kind of playing like a robot. Most of the time, only thinking about zero cards, zero cards, zero cards, zero cards. I don't actually have to get down to zero cards in the hand. Now, I would actually love to attack with a Arcanine on this turn, but I did not. I didn't bench a Growlithe last turn, which I could have done to be honest. I could have actually benched a Growlithe on my last turn instead. Um, I chose not to, but to be honest, I definitely could have. Now, going into this next time, we are going to have to attack with an Arcanine through a Zorark, for sure. Because we can't attack with Mighty Anna when our opponent doesn't have a VMAX Pokemon in play. Uh, and actually, they just need... Yeah, with the tablet, they actually knock us out. They don't even need <laughs> another Fusion Strike energy. That will actually do it. All right. So, Zerua up. Onto an Evolution Incense. Go ahead and play that. Grab the Terrier. We have a Zorak left. We have an Ordinary Rod to get back two Zeruas. Nakatsuru, Nakatsuru, Nakatsuru. Okay. So I'll Terrier here. I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball away these two. I'm not going to get the Zorak here, actually. I don't need that. I am going to get the Slowbro to put that in the discard pile. Go to the active. And then we're going to play the Peony. Discards the Slowbro. And we're going to go ahead and grab a level ball and an ordinary rod. So I'm going to ordinary rod for two. Count them two. It's a Ruas. And then I'll go ahead and level ball for a Zerua. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and bench that. I will attempt to tune a Peony on top of the deck, I think. Really does give me the best options usually. And transformation into the Arcanine. And then we can go ahead and knock out this Meloetta and go down to two prize cards. And now we can win the game with Slowbro. That's kind of what I was kind of building up towards here. Could draw with the Radiant Venus or how many evolution incense do I have left? Three. Um Go ahead and say no on the Radiant Venusaur draw. Just top deck the Peony, play the Peony, and that can get me basically anything I'd want for the turn. So 
So it feels like we're in a pretty good spot here. The only play that I could see my opponent lining up from here would be... Oh, they're already going after my Zeruas. This is actually where it could get a little ugly. But I do have two bosses orders left, to be honest. So right now I could go boss Genesect knockout into... Or boss Genesect hit into boss Genesect knockout. And I can just win the game that way, to be honest. Um, so I think that is what I'm going to go for here. I'm just going to go for the boss boss uh, on the Genesects to win this game. Hitting a Mew, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for me. Our draw is the Peony. I could go for the Slowbro play as well. I could go for the Slowbro play. I could, I could just play Peony. Set up. The Rua. I kind of like the... This play, though. This play is way cooler. This is why I kind of want to go with this play. I'm just going to go level ball. Level ball for Zerua. Go for the slow bro dub. And I'm just going to go ahead and Altaria. And just put the Piers on top. Piers finds a Zork plus the Twin Energy. Uh, and we're still going to very vulnerable. We still want to apply some amount of pressure here. Very vulnerable with the hit. Um, and I will draw here. Uh, wait, maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> I guess we could get Marnie now. But if they get Marnie, then we can still just go Tempting Tune plus Primate Wisdom. Yeah, I feel like we just have this one locked up, to be honest. I don't know what my opponent can do here, actually, to stop us from winning this game. Knock out the active. We win with peers. We'll knock out as a rule. We win with peers. Like I said, I could have gone for that boss play on the Genesect on my last turn. Boss up a Genesect. Hit it, and then hit it again. Repeat. But um, we don't need to do that. And, I mean, this play should set us up solidly to... Uh, win this game and even if they go with like a psychic leap here they'll eventually have to take a knockout like my arcanine will eventually get ko'd by psychic leap so they can't psychic leap infinitely or just not quite yeah can't quite psychic leap infinitely um wait could i have won this game with i could have just won with mighty anna this turn <laughs> i didn't even realize that i could have just won with mighty anna they had the mu v max oh my gosh i can already I'm not going to read the comments for this video, that's for sure. No way I read the comments for this video. <clears throat> yeah, I literally could have just won with... With, uh... <laughs> Mighty Anna that turn. Literally just blanked. I was like, I don't know, the, the slow bro play is kind of cool. It's just a zero card hand, play for the slow bro play. Um, yeah, literally just drew a blank. I'm not going to lie. We could have just... We could have just won that turn. With the, uh... Wait, could we have... Did they psychically blast? I don't even remember what happened last turn, to be honest. I think I could have. They had a Mew Max in the active, right? They haven't evolved this since then. Yeah. I'm not reading the comments on this video, 100%. Um, so they could get the Psychic Leap Loop. Like I said, they could start Psychic Leap Looping, but they will have to knock out something eventually. And when they do, we have the Peers, which will lead to the win for us. Um, so it's just a matter of time um, for that. Psychic Leap Loop will not go infinite for my opponent. There's a boss on the Altaria. That's fine. It does have free retreat, so we're just going to move it. I think my opponent is trying to get to the point where they can Psychic Leap Loop. Uh, but they might not see that uh, Slowbro is an out for us once they draw one more prize card. So they don't see that. Still going to be in a pretty good spot, and I don't think they see that. So we split to the bench view. That's fine. Comes a quick ball sparkle yeah i mean they've done it they've gotten down to uh zero card deck now they can psychic leap and then next turn psychic leap and they can repeat this process oh they actually ko'd oh okay well now we just win <laughs> i didn't see them put down two tablets that's gonna do it we get the dub here this is why the peers is so good one appears in the early game it's not even bad if you draw it as like your only supporter for turn uh going first it's not even a bad supporter to have uh because it can get you a capture energy in like a Zerua in the early game. Uh, and then in the late game, it gets you your Zorark and your twin energy, which becomes your slow bro to utilize the uh, Twilight Inspiration attack to close out games super easily. Shout out to uh, shout out to Piers. What a broken card. This is probably the best deck, the best time. The best time Piers has been good right now in this deck right here, which is pretty sick to be honest. And that's going to do it for the gameplay with the Arcanine Zorark 
uh, deck. Really cool deck. Arcanine, Hisuian Arcanine Zorark is an amazing deck. The deck is so much fun. Uh, it's a little bit challenging to like get down initially. There's like a lot of things going on with when you should Venusaur, when you shouldn't Venusaur, should you Altaria, should you not, what to Guru, when to Guru, so many things to be honest. But once you get a hang of it, it's a super cool deck. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. If you want to catch some more Hasugan Arcanine gameplay from me, check out the uh, secondary YouTube channel, Azul GG2, where I... Uh, been posting a lot of gameplay over there there's some gameplay up there right now or will be in a little bit if you're watching this video when it first comes up on secondary youtube channel to get some more arcanine gameplay from me and i'll catch you on the next one peace